Let's go diving. Diver heading down. Today we are searching for the mysterious Limbe Sea Dragon, easily the smallest dragon on planet Earth. This creature is so hard to find that it remained undetected until 2006 when it was first discovered. Information about it is still extremely limited, as they are notoriously difficult to find due to their size and the fact that they are fast swimmers. Our goals for today are to locate one, capture it on video, and of course observe it and learn more about the behaviors of this bizarre animal. We are diving in a very unique place in the world called the Limbe Strait, which is right in the middle of the Coral Triangle of Indonesia. The type of dive we are on is called a muck dive. This is because we will need to search through loose sediment on the seafloor, or the muck, which is the correct environment to find the Limbe Sea Dragon, as they are often sighted around the slime and algae that they resemble. So we'll start looking by scanning the seafloor for areas that have good hiding spots for the sea dragons to blend in. Our air supply is limited to 50 minutes. Let's get searching. Only found in Limbe, this sea dragon is almost impossible to spot with the naked eye. So I brought with me a specialty lens for my camera that can magnify areas that we want to inspect closely. And there you have it, first spot of the day. That is a ghost pipefish, which are related to the Limbe sea dragon. These fish are also masters of camouflage, but since the creature we are searching for is so small, this one stood right out while scanning with our camera. It appears to be a delicate ghost pipefish, and the way I can tell that is by those weedy looking appendages underneath its snout, and the lack of hair on the rest of its body. What a cool creature. You can almost see right through it, but look at all those vivid colorations, including those super vibrant eyes. Okay, let's keep searching. We have about 60% of the tank left. So far, no signs of the Limbe Sea Dragon, but seeing that ghost pipefish tells me we're on the right track. We're down here today with some local divers that know this area well and have seen the Limbe Sea Dragon before. These rocky outcrops are perfect environments for them. They like to tuck into the crevices, and they also have the right kind of algae that they blend into. Okay, I'm getting the signal. There's something over there. This could be it. All right, this is the right kind of algae. Let's scan this area well with our camera, and hopefully we can find one. I'm also going to need to use some attachments to steady the camera. We are so zoomed in that we have to keep the rig absolutely still. This is the main reason you've likely never seen this animal before. Finding them is a challenge. Filming them is a whole different ball game that requires specialty equipment. Luckily, today we have the correct setup. Oh my goodness, there it is. The Limbe Sea Dragon. What a majestic and tiny little creature. Let's try to adjust the camera to get a good look at its face. As you can see, it's moving relatively fast for its size. We're gonna have to try to track it until it stops again. This one seems to be on its own, but from what I've read, they usually live in pairs, sometimes up to 10 pairs in one area. So there's a good chance there's more close by. There we go. Now we're still. Despite having the name dragon, these are not that closely related to the Australian sea dragons that people are more familiar with. They are actually more closely related to the pipefish and seahorses that live in this area. So technically, these sea dragons are actually what's known as a pipe dragon. Oh, check that out. Those tiny bright red appendages are really interesting. They almost look like venomous spines or stingers. But I'm certain they can't do me any harm. Those are likely just for appearance to ward off predators. Oh nice, check that out, there's another one. They almost look exactly the same, but this one might be a touch bigger. It's really hard to show the scale on camera, but I cannot stress enough just how tiny this dragon really is. It's also extremely thin. It's only about an eighth of an inch wide and just under an inch in length. 
It's almost the size of an algae-like eyelash, and it's super hard to keep the camera focused on it, since every small shift I make moves it out of view. Okay, it's moving again. It's so cool how it just drifts through the water, and it uses its fins, you can see right there on the back, to swim right along, but it really looks like a piece of algae. And then when it gets close enough, it can use its long tail to grab on and anchor to the next object. I've actually heard stories of people not realizing they've seen one until they review their photos after the dive, when they thought they were filming other animals only to be photobombed by the Limbe Sea Dragon. But I have to say, as far as a photobomb goes, the Limbe Sea Dragon is one I would welcome any day of the week. And there it goes. What an incredible creature and rare opportunity to see the Limbe Sea Dragon of Indonesia. This is Mark Vins, the Aquanaut, over and out.